am B Nick Charlie, man. I'm back at it again, man. Thank all the new subscribers, man. I appreciate it, man. And I appreciate everybody that's been donating to We're Gonna Save the Homeless, man. We're doing our little movement where we feed the homeless and give back to the community. And we're doing programs for people with drug addiction. I appreciate all those donations that's been coming in for that. I thank y'all so much, man. And I appreciate y'all supporting me. Remember, if y'all want to put in a donation, you can go to my Patreon. It's only You can put your four quarters in or you can go to my cash shop. You know what I'm saying? But whatever you donate to the channel or donate to me, we're going to put it towards the homeless thing, the giving back, man, because it's about the community, man. And I love y'all, man. I appreciate each subscriber, each person that comes see me and check me out, man. I really appreciate every donation, man. It don't matter if it's $5, $10, whatever it is, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I love you and I thank you for your donations, man. And like, like I said, if you not in a position to donate right now, when you do get in a position... We're going to donate and we're going to keep helping the community, man, because that's what it's all about, man. But I really thank y'all for supporting me, man. It take a lot, man. It take a lot to support our own kind. And I thank the people that's been supporting me and just showing me that great and amazing love, man. I appreciate y'all love, dog. I appreciate it. Women and men, I appreciate it. But anyway, not to talk too much, man. <clears throat> Let's get into it, man. The elites are back at work, man. They're back at work, man. Three massive shootings, man. It's crazy, dog. This is getting crazy and sick, man. Dude just walking to a Walmart and just open fire, man. Do y'all not see what's going on, man? The elites are a dangerous force to mess with. We've seen what happened in Nipsey, and we've seen who, what happened to Prince and Michael Jackson. The elites is not nothing to play with, man. You feel what I'm saying? Now when I watch this and I see this, man, my, my first thought comes to imagine what the gun law is going to be now. That they have in these type of situations. My thing is this. We need the protection. You feel what I'm saying? When you have a gunman walking to a Walmart with kids going to back to school, getting back to school supplies and things of that nature, and just open fire. It's like, bro, this is sickening, man. All this hate crime and things of this nature is what you call the elites. The elites are putting together these forces to do this type of thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you see stuff like this, man, you got to understand where it's coming from. The elites, man. I don't know if Donald Trump mad somebody mad or what it was, man, for the dude to say I'm out to just get Mexicans, right? That sounds crazy to me, man. It's real crazy to me, man. Walking the store and just open fire on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, that's, that's, that's some hateful stuff, my G. Really hateful and very cold-hearted. You know what I'm saying? The young lady was saying that she was trying to get the older lady, and the older lady couldn't move as fast, so she left her in the store. You know what I'm saying? I was like, dang, man. But I understand, man. Everybody may weigh different weights and stuff like that. I was saying, man, I would have tried to do the, the uh, Forrest Gump and put her on my back and run up out that store. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, a lot of hate crime, a lot of hate stuff going on. And I believe it, it got a lot to do with the elites, man. The elites is causing these problems and causing these situations. Now, I don't know the angle of what they're trying to do, but it looked like it's more so trying to dirty up Donald Trump name even more. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looked like. To me. Now, maybe I'm wrong or maybe I'm right, but for it to be saying I'm going to just get Mexicans, it make it look funny. It's, it's like they're trying to throw some dirt on Donald Trump to make it look like him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy, man. When I see stuff like this, it's saddening to me. You know what I mean? It's very saddening, man. Y'all listen to this, man. El Rifle. Families been diving for cover from the gunfire that was relentless inside that store. There were thousands inside the Walmart running in fear. I was told just today about the children who ran for their lives on their own. Stores nearby were on lockdown. Police searched for the first response to the wound. And of course, discovering the dead. So many lives lost here. At least 20 dead and 26 injured. I talked with the police chief here just moments ago minutes. and what he revealed to me about oh the possible gracious, motive. Man. Why this suspect drove 600 miles to 600 get here. 600 miles to do this. Crazy, man. The world, the world, this is the world we live in, G. And I be telling y'all, man. Y'all keep thinking that elite thing funny, man. That shit real, G. Evacuating this El Paso ball. The first call coming in 1039 Saturday morning. Run, we can't run. Ooh, that lemonade good. There was chaos. Some of the shoppers recording as they made their escape. Posting it online. SWAT team is responding to reports of an active shooter. They soon realized that gunfire is inside the Walmart. Any tactical units to go ahead and start responding to the health support at the Walmart? 
The Buster Guns in Walmart right now. They came from my impression. It's sad, bro. It's sad. When I when I hear stuff like this and I see stuff like this, man, I know a lot of people were saying, like, uh, when when we have these type of things going on in our community, nobody put it on televised or it don't go on TV or nothing like that. But when it's dealing with other cultures, they're the first to put it on the news and stuff of that nature, All right? My whole thing is this, man. I don't believe in nobody should have to die the wrong way, you feel me? Especially AK-47 shields and bullets, assault rifles and things of that nature. That's a horrible death and a horrible thing for somebody to do, to, to, to hurt somebody like that. You feel what I'm saying? But the elites are definitely at work, my nigga. Like, for real, man. It's, it's so cold-hearted, man. You know what I'm saying? Then for him to actually say... He was trying to take out all the Mexicans. What do you think? He going to get out early or something like that? Never know, man. Never know what kind of trickery this was. You know what I'm saying? If the elites had something to do, do with it, like I said, they're going to do the same thing they did with the Eric Holder thing. They're going to put him in jail, say he's doing life or whatever, or he get in a chair, and then he's going to disappear off the planet Earth. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that was a horrible thing, man. If you killed like 29 people, 20-some people missing, that's 40-some-odd people, man. That's in this situation with that, man. That's some cold-hearted, ruthless stuff, man. And when I tell y'all, bro, it's, it's, it's saddening, man. Families, man, going to get their kids some pencils and book bags and some shoes from the Walmart store. Now every Walmart in America going to have to have armed guards and everything all the time. Because this is a serious and scary thing, man. Just imagine you was in there going to get your kids some shoes and some clothes. And somebody started shooting. You might have been in line when he was coming through that jet. You feel me? Not knowing if he got military training, Rizzo Islam, right? <laughs> Never know, man. All these military guys getting this military training, right? We all think doing these military training and sending these guys out here, the elites, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The elites are doing this, bro. Look at how he came in there with the thing on his ear, glasses on. The elites are preparing these guys to tear down the cities, man. And tear us up, man. See, in the black community, black people kill each other so much, you don't really got to send no, uh, nobody in there for real, for real. But what they do is they they use your own people to take out you. You know what I'm saying? Look what they did to Nip, man. Now, that's what they did. They used somebody within the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say this, man. With this whole situation, when you're doing things like this going on, man, once you begin to get position and power and start going on to the elite property and stuff like that, you begin to see the changes and stuff, man. And that's all it is, bro. Nipsey Hussle and those great to buy up property. They had a little deal going on. What is it, two point something million? One point two million or something like that? Billion? Dollar deal they was working on? You know what I'm saying? With gross and all of them? That's why I be saying, bro, like, things be deeper than people can imagine. People are so quick to go to the not opening up their brain and their understanding that Things are just bigger than what you can ever imagine, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's deeper than it. you trying to make it so simple. Just like the nip thing, bro. Like it's deeper than just a guy running up and just doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's crazy, man. And I mean, then it was saying a lot of weird stuff like Eric Holder went into the car and loaded the gun up and came back out. And like it, like a lot of stuff just be weird, bro. And then when I look at that case and I look at that situation, bro, this is what I get from this, man. I really believe that they don't even know who the actual person was. So like about this, man, that dude that came on the live, bro, that said he was the one involved and everybody said it was clout chasing. How we don't know that was a, the elite plan to throw everything off. So when they go on the court, they be like, bro, they already got a man that admitted to doing this. Right? Like, that's what I be saying, bro. How much of the camera footage is real? And think about this, man. How much of the counterfeit they actually really got? Because when they was in the courtroom, they asked a cowboy, they didn't know what the man had on this and that. Did they know if it was really him? He couldn't identify what the man had on, dog. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. This elite thing is real and powerful, man. And we see this with this massive shooting thing, man. It's crazy, G. Like, I see stuff like this. I'm like, man, y'all, we, we got to, we got to, man. We got to do better, man, for real. <clears throat> Inside the Walmart. Thousands of shoppers, 100 employees. It was a busy Saturday morning. Parents and grandparents and the children buying their back-to-school supplies. All pack units, the back duty units, please make it to the west side of Walmart, please. Tonight, authorities say 21-year-old Patrick Crucius was armed with an assault-style rifle.
and authorities believe based on what they've read and what they've heard from him, he was there to shoot as many Mexicans as possible. That ball here in El Paso is just five miles from the... That's what I'm talking about, is shoot as many Mexicans. Come on, man. How cold-hearted and, and crazy can a person be, man? You feel what I'm saying? And I know I heard a lot of people talking, man. They would have bust out the guns and would have got them, loaded up some guns at Walmart and started shooting back or whatever the case may be. When you're in them type of situations, how do you know that you're going to be alert enough to be even do something like that? You know what I'm saying? So like I say, man, don't say what you're going to do if you ain't never been in those situations. I hear a lot of people talking, oh, I would have busted guns out. I would have been shooting back and woo the woo. You never know, man. Somebody come in there with an assault rifle, G. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to understand the, the, the pain that that can cause. That can take you out one shot. You know what I mean? So, all this Superman and Batman type of thing, you know what I'm saying? You can talk it, but you got to walk that walk, EG. All these people, I'm going to bust out the guns in there, load them up, and I'm going to shoot back at them and all this type of thing. You got to, if you're saying that, I hope you, you prepare for that situation. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm out of here, man. I'm being there, Charlie, man. And when I see stuff like this, man... It's sad, bro. It's a sad day, man, when we see stuff like this, man. It is really bad, man, for real, G. I'm out, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to your boy. Don't forget to donate to the Patriot or donate to my cash out. Um, yes, we're doing Save the Homeless, and then we're doing rehabilitation for people with drug addiction. You want to put in your donations right at the cash out. Cash tab being there. Charlie, man, support the channel. Support me because I love y'all, man. I respect y'all, man. And we're going to keep mobbing and doing a great and amazing thing in the community. Love.